Small businesses are learning how to improve their digital skills and therefore grow their bottom line. Jordan Daphnis explains how Facebook is trying to give a boost to the community. There are more than 5,000 small businesses in Arizona and more than 80,000 small businesses on Facebook. Many entrepreneurs are using these tools to grow their business. During the recession, the Latino business women actually started launching their own business, business up because unfortunately when the economy goes down, the first people that are fired uh, or, or laid off tend to be black women or Latina women. Uh, and they still have to find a way to survive and, and, and help their families, so many of them just started their own businesses. And many at the Facebook Community Boost workshops today were focused on that segment of the population as well. In the Spanish-speaking market, the resources aren't as accessible when it comes to, so to learning about social media and how to market your business as it is in English. Angela Solario says she's passionate about sharing social media tools with the Hispanic community. Because I saw that injustice growing up, now I'm I'm very, I'm very proactive in being able to help my own community and translate the message adequately so that they can feel empowered and that they can make more positive changes. Ray Barra Maladondo says he is also using social media to make positive changes for the Hispanic community. So the main way that we're able to get into our community is by doing live videos. Whenever there's a new issue, a new court decision, a new policy that comes out that's going to affect our community, we learn about it, educate ourselves, and then go live to inform them of what's happening and what changes are taking place and answer any of their questions. The Facebook Community Boost event is a free event open to the public and will continue to run through tomorrow. In the Broadcast Center, Jordan Daphnis, Cronkite News.